All right, everybody, welcome back to Physics Gaming. Uh, today, continuing on the Shapes IO Puzzle DLC. We left off just finishing level 1 through 10. Now we're going to look at uh, 11 through hopefully 20. Depends on how long some of these take, I guess. If I get stuck, it might be a, a few less levels, but we'll see. Hopefully we get there. So now we've got one circle, one green, one blue paint, and we need to get two circles nested in each other with blue on the inside and green on the outside. Okay, so first thing we need to do here, I guess just from the way this is set up, you're kind of forced to do this, right? And I need to split. So we have two layers. And what is the stacker? The right hand input is placed on the top. So I need a blue circle coming in there. So we're gonna have to put another painter like so, I think. That looks about right, and we'll split again. Oops, the other splitter. We'll see if that's fast enough. Yep, nice. Over and under. So we have one output that is this combined shape, and we need to split it and put each one into their respective areas. So we have to tunnel across. That's the first thing. I'm going to cut it down the center. Uh, okay, we can't cut quite there, but I think what we could do is this. Now... This guy comes to here, maybe? Oh no, that's the wrong side. Um, how's this guy? So I need to get this line up that way. Right? But... He can't, there's no way for this guy to like turn around and come back up. So maybe this isn't the spot for the cutter yet. Um, let's see, let's see, what side is what? So the top side is gonna be our purple square and the bottom side is gonna be our blue star. And I need this guy to go up to here. Um, let's see, all right, so we still need this, right? There's no way around that. Maybe it's better if we do one more up. I don't think that really gets us anything though, so let's leave it there for now. Hmm, what if we, nope, that doesn't do anything. That's not gonna help. I can't put it here if I put it here. What did we say didn't work? I can't really, this line is stuck. It doesn't go anywhere now. And if I put it here, we couldn't get this line to do anything. I guess we could get it to here. Well, let's try that actually. If this comes down here, and tunnels across this way and then oh, mm, nope so that okay so that kind of gives us a hint we have to come this way for these guys and I assume yeah we have basically the same hint this has to come down here so can this come out and come back in any way it can't quite make it it can get to here, but then it can't tunnel again. But could we do that up here, maybe? Okay, we can get... So there's two spaces here that we could use. So if we move this... And that guy goes to here. But what is this doing for me, right? I'd have to put it here because I still need this guy to come out. Say he can get up there somehow. Now what though? Because I can't do this, it's stuck. 
And if I take this and tunnel to here, just to get it over, um, the only place a cutter could go would be there, but that's not gonna work. I could get one over here. That's also not really gonna work. Okay, so we have somewhat of an idea of how this is working. At some point, we have to get this side up to here, right? So I assume something like this has to happen. Which means our cutter, if we put it here, isn't gonna work. And if we put it there, it's not gonna work either. So where can our cutter fit? It can fit here. Let's try that. Um, right, so that's into there. Oh, well that's much easier. Okay, so the purple guy goes down there. He comes across. Oh, maybe not much easier. this and then the other tunnel here ah that's what this side is for like that does that work nice there it is okay that one was a little more difficult there i uh kind of struggled for a minute there mixed to white so i'm gonna assume we got some colors we got a mix here um we're getting a purple output we need to mix all of these paints to get white, paint the output, and have it come in. Okay, let's start. So this guy has to get out of this section here, so I think it's going to look like this. That's my guess. Now, we're going to need a stack of these paint mixers, right? So I could, it could be something like this. Nope, that's not gonna work. Let's see, how else can we mix these paints? Um, okay, so the final thing has to come in here. So we're gonna need paint somehow coming in. Paint and shapes coming in. Uh, it's gonna have to look maybe like Maybe something like this? No. Uh, how is that gonna work? How does that work? All right, how are we getting the green over? So this green is kind of blocking us because I can't really do that, can I? I can't really, I don't see a way for it to tunnel anywhere. And this doesn't work, neither does this or this. So how does the green come out? How do I get it out of here? Let's see. Um. Oh, okay, maybe I can do this in the end, right? With whatever the shape is. Okay. So maybe something like this to start. Like this. And that? That looks right. Ah, it's weird how much those pieces just kind of come together all at once, you know? Like, you have nothing, you feel like you got nothing, 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 and then all of a sudden, boom, it just comes to you. Split rotation. So I have one quarter of the final piece. I need to split it into four lines. So we have two lines. Each one of these I need to split again. Okay. 
and then stack after rotating, I should stack, I should say. Okay. Hmm. Well, let me think about this a little bit more before I just go crazy. Let's split once. Right. So I'm going to need one piece that isn't rotated, one piece that's rotated clockwise once, one that's rotated counterclockwise once, and one that's rotated 180 once. Do I have a 180? I do have a 180. So if I, let's go back. That? I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't work because this this line's blocked. So this one would have to be like this, and this one like that. So now we have four lines. We got top right. Let's make this bottom right, which is one clockwise rotator, right? Like that. I can stack that result. And I think the last thing is going to be a stacker here, right? So I don't have a tunnel, so I can't use this section. So that's like a red herring to me. So now I have two top rights. I need one counterclockwise, one 180, another stacker and then that goes into there there it is all right nice let's get level 15 here that might be the last one for this video just so it doesn't end up being super long okay why did they make a swastika huh what's up with that what's up with that all right let's see what do we got windmill so i have two green circles two yellow stars and i need four results that are yellow stars and green circles stacked in different ways okay so i think what i'm gonna do to start is just put a stacker in front of each of these guys because they kind of give you the hint that there's two open spaces in front of each right so that seems about what they want you to do uh each one of these i'm gonna need to split so let's do that, All right? And let's see, so for this guy, I need the green circle to be on the right-hand input. So maybe something like this comes over there. This guy goes into there, that should fill up. This comes over. Is it just gonna be the same pattern repeating maybe? Oh, that doesn't work there. Um, but I think I can just do this for the last one. And that should be essentially all of them working. Nice. Well, that one, it just looked interesting, uh, but wasn't too difficult to get figured out. And I think that'll do it for this video. Like I said, I just don't want it to be super long. In the next one, we should be able to finish the rest of them. So I'll see you in that one. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, dislike if you didn't. Feel free to hit subscribe and uh, see the rest of these puzzles and probably some more. Maybe we'll make our own. We'll find out. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.